I am back again and I thought I would uh, do some playing with my Pure Lux colors just so you can see. First thing I want to do is go ahead and review something that I tried over the weekend. This is Pure Lux also has like a, I don't know what you would call it, it's like a, a mousse foundation. It's like, you know, where, you know, you can just apply this on. The thing about this, they have different colors of course, but it's like a thick, creamy kind of foundation. The thing about this, it smells. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this stinks. This is not what a foundation should smell like. It shouldn't, you know, it doesn't need to smell like heaven or anything or, you know, roses, but it doesn't need to smell like, it just smells like mildew. It just, ugh, it doesn't smell good. It smells worse than anything I've ever tried. Any other kind of foundation, I don't think it smells that bad. I mean, I don't know what they put in it, but it just, it smells horrible. I mean, does it cover, does it have a good coverage? Yes, but it just smells bad. Why would you want it on your face? <laughs> just my random comment. My random review on that, I'm sure. I don't even think Allie wanted to try that, but that's what I wanted to tell her. I already have my foundation on and I already have some concealer and some bronzer and some blush on and I just wanted to start with the eyes just because that's what that's what I pay attention to. So this is the MAC Peat Pot in Bear Study on the eye. I was thinking about what colors I wanted to play with tonight and I think I wanted to play with the colors that I'm just not sure how we're supposed to apply these. So the colors I got that I thought were really interesting was Kaleidoscope, Oasis, and the other one's Turquoise Aura. Now these colors, they look, you know, when the light hits them, you know, that you can kind of see the reflex, but it's hard to get that effect on your eye. And some red. I don't know why, but I think Turquoise is going to look pretty good with red. You don't think so? Let's just, let's just give it a chance, okay. So first, let's put on some of the Turquoise Aura all over the lid a brush. Let's go ahead and get a fluffy one. So yeah, I was playing with these over the weekend, and I, I even have some pictures of what I was wearing, so you can see how it looked, but I just don't know how these work. You know, because when you put them on, it's almost like you only see them when the light hits it. And you know, when you go out and you go to a club, you're not really flashing lights all over you unless you're underneath a strobe light or something. But hopefully you can see the reflex. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to put this on. I don't know if I'm supposed to have this brush soaked in something. I mean, if it's supposed to be a wet brush, am I supposed to foil it? I don't know. Because in the, in the container and on the brush, it looks a lot, like there's a lot more color in there, but when you put it on, not seeing it so much. I was I'm not really sure if you guys can see it. But yeah, it looks, you know, it looks like a white powder. Got it all over me. Looks like a white powder in the pot, but it's actually like a turquoise powder. So let's get some of the kaleidoscope on. I'm just going to get the brush wet a little bit on my, the wipe that I was using to clean my face, take a mile of the makeup off. Hopefully that'll work with this. Let's just, let's just try it. We're experimenting, right? Put this in the corner. See, it's just hard to see it. Hard to get it on. I mean, I'm sure I feel like I need to like really pack it on to get it on there. Just so I can see it. This is the Kaleidoscope Oasis color. It's supposed to look different in different facets of light. Um, it just reminds me of a guy I dated in Chicago. He had a, a Corvette, and it was one of those, this was in 98, I can't remember what year his car was, but it faded from like turquoise to purple, 
this color kind of reminded me of that, but I don't think it's supposed to go to purple. I think it goes from like, I don't know, like a turquoise to green and I'm not really sure. So you, you can see that it has a lot of shimmer, which mama like, mama like a lot of shimmer. Some red on just to be bold smaller brushes. I'm just going to use my NYX crease brush for this just so I can see what it's going to look like. And I was thinking of putting this in the corner and in the crease. Now this is a matte color so it's not going to really have any kind of shimmer to it which I think would be interesting to put this next to a, a really shimmery color and then trying to blend that shimmer into it. There's like, whoa. Not really sure where I'd wear this. Let's get another fluffy brush. I'm not trying to figure out what I want to blend this with. I feel like a clown. Let's blend this with some NYX Aloha. It's kind of this color. You're like, what the hell are you doing? Don't worry about it. I'm just going on a little trip. Just plain. It's fun to play with makeup. pink real quick, didn't it? Hmm. I think it's interesting. Just, I think I don't know where I'd wear this. So let's just, let's line them with some brown. This is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in dark brown. I don't even think I've used this yet. I think it looks kind of interesting just because it's colors I've never worn before so it's like a turquoise and a pink look I think almost hmm. uh, I don't know my nose was kind of itchy right there um, I, think I, I think I would probably just add mascara to this and call it a day I think it's a fun look um, these pigments are definitely they're a lot finer than the MAC pigments. They're almost like uh, a powder, like almost like a translucent powder. They're, that's how fine they are, but they're not that translucent in color. I mean, I played with them all weekend, so I think I know what I'm talking about somewhere. There. That's a fun look. I'm glad I wanted to I'm glad I played with you guys for a little bit. So let's just get kind of close so you can see what we're working with, what Mama created. Did. So yeah, I'll have to see how that looks. Um, so yeah, that's just a little fun with some Pure Lux colors. The samples, you know, they're like two dollars, and you're supposed to get an eighth of a, of a teaspoon. But I mean, I think there's enough in here for at least ten uses, and they're just, you know. They're fun to play with. I mean, if you th if you find a color you really like, buy a bigger one. But these sample ones are pretty they're pretty generous sizes. Um, so that's all I got right now. Talk to you later. Bye.